Alright guys, and welcome back to more Digimon Stories Cyber Sleuth, and like always, I spent a massive amount of time off-camera pretty much just leveling up and uh, arranging my Digimon. We powered up a Gargomon that was in the reserves. Uh, he's now Rapidmon. We got Nanimon still. We can Digivolve him right now. And we have Lilymon, who is amazing because her speed is amazing by default. And then her intelligence by default is just amazing. So we just want to start getting equipped. We want to start developing equipment for our Digimon. So what I'll have, probably have to do off camera is just save scum to get the equipment that I need. The equipment that I want. So that is it's going to work out in the end. We just need to start building up equipment. Because right now that's, what, that's what's going to probably matter during the end game. Is getting the good equipment. Getting the right equipment. So Digitamamon is here. He has decent speed. Uh, his defense is pretty solid. The best out of the entire group. Well, second best out of the entire group. I mean, this guy is on a higher level, so he doesn't count. But, yeah, his attack is pretty good, too. Yeah, his attack and defense is pretty dope. And then he ha he increases chances of getting critical hits by 15%. And he has a... Reduces one foe's HP by 15%. Yo, this would actually work really well on bosses. Because bosses have retarded amounts of health anyway. So, Nightmare Syndrome. Yo, Digitamamon is about to put in this work. He's an ultimate. He's got good defense. He's a data-type Digimon. He's about to use his move that does 50% of the damage. And then, what, what, what? 20% chance of putting them to sleep, too. Obviously, it's, it's not going to matter on Digimon or bosses. But, yo, we're about to go in. We're going in. We're going in right now. So, here we go. We need to pretty much, first of all, postpone this quest. Oh, we got another quest added. It's that red one. Knocking on underground. But first of all, we want to postpone this. Well, it'll automatically postpone it if I just accept this one, right? No, they want you to go to the quest and then postpone it. And then go all the way back to the other quest. Luckily, it only takes literally less than five seconds. Oh, we get a farm development kit from this. Hell yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll explain all the details. The client this time is the local government that takes care of the utilities for Nakano. Basically, it's a bureaucratical agency. Bureaucratic agency, excuse me. Why are you so shocked? Of course, we specialize in the supernatural and complex cyber crime, so we usually have a very specific clientele. But we cooperated very well with Detective Matayoshi's police force, so they consider us to be a pretty good detective agency. So the government is hiring us. Yo, shout outs to the government. So we received a case from a public agency. Quite a rare event. This case was originally discussed by Detective Matayoshi with the government agency. It's a bit special, so Detective Matayoshi passed us down the government agency like a sort of ace up his sleeve, and now it's our case. Really? Got it? Nice. Good. The case is to unlock a gate in Nakano Underpass. It seems the gate is locked due to some electronic glitch and can't be opened. Alright. What? You don't know what- You don't know about Nakano Underpass? It's a facility that houses the equipment used to provide Nakano's public utilities such as power cables, water pipes, and so on. They're moving forward with a plan to improve the look of the city center above ground by housing the public utilities underground. So basically, they're just rearranging a whole bunch of stuff out of sight. Looks like the visible power cables and telephone poles are set to disappear. Underneath Nakano, there's a vast complex of tunnels. Okay. One of these entrances is the place where the gate we need to unlock it is. It's a password protected electronic lock. Okay. No one has been able to open it. They contacted the manufacturer but gave up. <laughs> they gave up. While the cops were dis uh, discussed, a weird groaning sound was heard coming from the other side of the gate. It seems something strange is going on. Oh boy. The manufacturer had a bad feeling about it and didn't want to open the gate, but the government suspected criminal activity and called Matayoshi. Alright, I see. So the buck passed to Karemi or to the Karemi Detective Agency. 
Well, after all, we have the best people for the job if you want to access a place that is off balance to it, to most. This is actually a good opportunity. I've been wanting to investigate the rumors surrounding Nakano's underground for a while. The gate is in the gate in question has an electronic lock, obviously. Yep, we're the only one. Alright, we received permission from Obama. Alright. Alright, the Alrighty then. Where's that groaning voice coming from? What is the strict Yes, we already know. These are questions we obviously ask ourselves when we do these quests, Kyoko. It's an underground gateway, so there will just be an underground tunnel behind it, right? Mm, quantum mechanics. Schrodinger's cat. Every game seems to have a reference to Schrodinger's cat. I don't know why. Until we open the gate, we cannot know if we will find the underground tunnel. Unlocking the gate. Alrighty then. What's behind the gate? Your job is to find that out. All right, is the training done? What friend is your, oh, it's black or brown or whatever, rainbow or red. Rainbow! <laughs> rainbow! <laughs> All right, we're done. Shout out to the Devil Survivor too. So we're gonna go to into Nakano's underpass. Hopefully we get run into a Digilab later so we can get the Digimon from the Digilab. Or from the digi farm into our party because right now I want to have them train in the digi farm did you arrive at the underpass the gate we need to unlock is inside the control panel should be beside you did you see it connect jump into it and lock the gate all right so first of all we're gonna save our game we, we don't know what's ahead we don't know what's ahead better safe than sorry and you know what I haven't really been doing? I haven't really been equipping anybody with specific attachments. He has Plant Guard, okay. Gladiator Disc. You can get critical hits. Digitomamon, we, we're probably gonna give him the, uh, the Gladiator Disc. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna give him two, excuse me. And uh, the reason for that is because he already comes with like a ability. Ability. See that I play. I'm playing too many RPGs. I'm using ability, but he has a special ability that raises his critical hit chance. So giving him that, giving the giving him the gladiator disc increases his critical hit chance by an extra ten percent, and his attack also went up by twenty there, which is amazing. So now we want Lily Mom to be pimped out. We want her to have panic barrier. Uh, sleep is also important. We don't want to get put to sleep, so Superstar Mon is going to equip sleep. Alright. And then Rapid Mon. He has attack attachment E. Do you have anything better than that? I guess we would want him to be faster. Alright. Wow, you got it. The answer is black. Damn, Leo Mon. You sound excited as hell. All right, what the? What happened? What connect jump isn't working? That's strange. It's an electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside of it. Perhaps it's just that you didn't activate the con connect jump properly. You need to calm down, Kyoko. I know what I'm doing. I told you it didn't work. Right. I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a connect jump. Raise your hand. Now concentrate. How you gonna tell me how to use my own ability? Now what? That's it. Bam! I... Bruh. Like, Kyoko trying to get smacked, man. 30 minutes later. <laughs> 30 minutes later. I need to turn down this game because it was turned up a little bit too high. I apologize. One hour later, literally sitting here for an hour. I think the problem isn't me, Kyoko. Several hours later. <laughs> A hundred years later. <laughs> A hundred days later. 
He's just bones. It'd have been hilarious if they if they just showed him as bones. Whatever you're doing, it seems like it's not working. Oh my god, Kyoko. It's not me, it's the damn system. What? We're in. Oh no, it looks like I can I can't verify it. Well, it seems that you can only connect jump if you feel disappointed. If I were to pull a theory of how to Oh my god, are you serious, Kyoko? Your ability locates a digital way, piggybacks on it to the target location digital space, and then enters it. It can be a network, a PC server. It doesn't matter what the target location is. If it has a digital space, then you should be able to access it. However, there seems to be certain limitations when interfering with the digital wave. In other words, when you can, you can, and when you can't, you can't. Oh, obviously, obviously. Thanks, Sherlock Holmes. Cause and effect are connected to the digital waves. Wait a second, how could you connect jump this time then? I don't have any proof to support my answer, but perhaps there were others like you who tried and failed to open the lock and were disappointed. Yes, disappointment is definitely key. I rambled on long enough. Please get this lock open as quickly as you can. Yeah, please stop talking. You're pissing me off. The digital lab is right there, so yeah, we can go get our Digimon. We can go get our reserves now. I wonder what kind of Digimon we run into here. So let's try to get into one fight. Oh, wow, we're running into freaking Tokomon. Lilymon! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Flower Cannon. Ooh! The decimated! Decimated! And these Digimons are all fast, dude. Golden Triangle. Dude, they all joined. Rip. Oh, I used to have the action figure for that Digimon, for uh, Rapid Mom. As a kid. Alright, here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, here we go, guys. So now what we want to do, we want to start obtaining our Digimon back from the farm. Um, there's actually a couple of digi uh, Digimon we want to digi or de digivolve and digivolve. Um, so the first things first, we're gonna go to the farm. Plesiomon is actually going to de digivolve into Mega Seedramon. So by de-digivolving, we raise the ABI, and by raising the ABI, it increases how much, basically... Basically, increasing the ABI also increases the amount of enhanced stats that you can obtain. So, maybe his speed was capped at 65, but since his ABI is higher, his speed can... Uh, it, it will cap out at a higher amount, so that's good. So, we're probably gonna keep Mega Seedramon, to be honest. Because his speed and intelligence is just amazing. So we're going to keep Mega Seedramon. I actually got him from Gekkomon, which is amazing. Gekkomon evolves into Mega Seedramon. So we're going to keep Mega Seedramon for now. We're also going to get Talmon from the crew. We're actually going to... Talmon is immediately just joining my crew. Uh, Starmon? Oh, uh, fam, you can, you can leave. You can leave the premises. We need... Man, Digitomamon seems really good for boss fights. But you know what? We're gonna say goodbye to him because we don't want to have more than um, two of the same type of Digimon. So we're gonna switch him out with maybe. Yeah, with Mega. Damn, Mega Seedramon is a damn. Man. He's also a data type. We have so many data types right now. Doru Greymon needs to de Digivolve, that's for sure. The Gururumon. Gururumon is just OD right now. So I want to get where or uh, uh, where Gururumon, which will have really good speed. And what we want to do, we also need to do something else for one of the other farm Digimon, Vademon, Leomon. Let's see. His attack and his speed is pretty good. So we actually want to evolve this. We want to evolve this Leomon to Grape Leomon because he has Chain Plus, and you get Chain Plus from Andromon. I did so much D Digivo or D D D Digivolving and uh, Digivolving. It's just insane. 
I, I can barely speak because of how much I have to talk about D digivolving and D digivolving is ridiculous. So his stats, his attack, and the speed is gonna be just amazing. And then he increases his speed by 15%. And then the King of Fist is really good. So we want this vaccine type. So that's another vaccine type we, we have. So we want him in our party. We want Leomon in there. So we have two of those. Digitomimon can sit this one out for... We need a virus type. And to be honest... We don't seem to have a lot of those. Vademon is coming in our party. We need another vi We need another virus type, to be honest. And... Our party memory is almost maxed out, so we're going to hold that. So we're going to have Vademon, Talamon, Lilymon. That's our crew right now. That's going to be our crew. And... Vademon... Whoo! His stats are OD right now. They're gonna be good. So, we wanna get... Either Talmon or Lilymon out of there. We wanna rock out with Lilymon here so we can raise her cam up a little bit more. So, we're gonna put... We're gonna organize Vademon into the party. And then... Rapper, we're gonna have a uh, Grap... Grap Leomon. I don't know what that means, Grap. I think they wanted to say Grappler Leomon, maybe. But, yep, here we go. We're gonna rock out with this crew. We need to actually adjust their settings a little bit. Sleep barrier is gonna be necessary, I feel. And then maybe research USB. And what we need to do as well is change up a lot of these moves, because we have better moves we have access to. So, because he's more physical, we wanna put nothing but physical moves on there. Except for Idle Bubble. Because Idle Bubble puts people to sleep. Shock is good too. Nano Machine Break. That's always good. So I think he's really good right now, unless there's something else I want to equip. Power Energy is amazing because it's a magic attack that does 100 neutral damage. Oh my god. Power Energy is just so good. It's neutral magic damage. That's just. By itself, it's broke. I guess we'll keep him the same. I think he's really solid the way he is, unless there's a stronger physical attack we can give him. Yeah, Nano Break 3. Let's give him Nano Break 3. And then he has that. So we can give him... Chain Plus is going to be amazing for fast Digimon. Because it increases one ally's combo rate by 50%. And if they're like all next to each other, it's going to be amazing. And Vademon. Roger. I should, na I should nickname him Roger. That's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna nickname this guy Roger. Because he looks like Roger. Oh, I can't capitalize it. There we go. There we go. And now what we want to do... Is put on something good for him. Maybe... Speed is... More speed is always good. More HP is always good, too. More HP, and then maybe, like, a wind guard. What is he? Light? Do we have a light guard? No, we don't. So I guess, like, a panic barrier, just in case. So, prevents dotting. He's good. Alright, we're gonna run this crew. We're gonna run with this crew. We're ready. After, like, the last boss fight, I just decided to sit down and just do major farming and grinding, and that's what I did. And to be honest, like, you can't underestimate Digimon in this game. You can't, you can't underestimate bosses in this game. You can't. They just come stacked. So, I came stacked, too. Whoa, what is that? It's like a Digi-Egg. It's over here. There might be, like, a shiny... Hacking skill, copy and paste. Copies the target's color data and temporarily saves it by pasting a colorless base. When correctly placed, the security will be dropped and you will be able to continue. Alright, so it looks like I got a copy and paste here. Did I just do this? Alright, so we got the yellow now. So we're going to come right back over here and try pasting it. Okay, so you have to copy the yellow and put the yellow one on here. 
The door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. Oh, look at this. We're in a digital place, in a digital space. This digital place in a digital space. Here comes Kyoko, yo. It seems you managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must be it must have been easy for you given your skill. Yo. It's a bit of a labyrinth in the underground tunnel. What do you mean by a bit? Is there a sign of a Digimon or an eater in there? Oh god, not an eater. The eater fights are usually just so obnoxious. I know I said we wouldn't we couldn't know what we were uh, what we would find, but I wasn't expecting that. I believe we have witnessed a special digital wave occurrence. A ley line. What the? This ain't outlaw star. Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are many in Tokyo. They are called dragon chains. Dragon signifies the un undulating landscape and uh, hills and mountains. The uh, dragon chain is what we call the flow of the land spirit. Sosei Tenkai. Budokai Tenkai Ishi Sosei Tenkai. It is also... <laughs> it is said that he built a waterway and path to the lead the chief from Mount Fuji. Oh my god. Japanese culture. Mm-hmm. I'm paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Totally paying attention by nodding my head. Funk Sway. Kyoko knows a lot. I'll give her that. She knows a lot. She knows a lot. I gotta give her that. Yeah, this is all very impertinent to the plot of the game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. View from the eyes of the current society. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Naturally, where you're standing underground constitutes another ley line. Ley lines. Yeah, you could go on for a while. You went on for a while just there. Like, holy cow. Alright, looks like we're gonna check things out here. Huh, I wonder if I can find any items in here. Come on, Leo Mon. Neo Geo Leo Mon. Let's go. Over here. Where, where does the other path lead to, I wonder? Let's go right. Right is always the right path, guys. Right is always right. But in this case, I was wrong. I was wrong. No! I want to get these items. Damn. I like how I'm not running into a lot of Digimon. I bet you I know why. It's because of the, the love on my Digimon. The tunnel just keeps going, you say? If it stays on course like that, you're going to end up in Rapunga, which would mean... You know, this reminds me of something else I've heard before. And that internet takes old highways like the Koshu Kaido and Tokaido to get to Tokyo from Mount Fuji. And the Budokai Tenkaishi Shinkai... ...is too strong for you to... <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Put simply, all the ley lines that flow throughout Tokyo could well be coming out of our own stomping grounds. It's nice, but I'll probably never, ever, ever, ever go to Japan, so... Like, Kyoko, what are you doing? It's nice that they have all these uh, references to the culture. But, you know, I, I, I could care less. Stop right there. Don't go any further. Go any further and you'll be in the central government territory. That's a hive we best not poke. But the government hired us! I know how to say that word, but it didn't slip out right. This little tangent of ours has gone on long enough. Well, thank you, Kyoko. Thank you for wasting a lot of our time talking. 
Though it's not as strong as we u uh, we're used to. That tunnel is causing a digital shift. We should probably keep it locked up like before. No matter how you spin it, it'll probably all be a lot to take in. I wouldn't be surprised if we come away looking even sketchier than we already do. Let's just let Detective Matayoshi deal with it. Some jobs are just be best left to others. Damn right. Kimishido Research Lab. Really? Don't be dense. I told you, that area is under the jurisdiction of the central government. That's not the sort of place you wander into for fun. If nothing else, it indicates that Kimishido and the government have a tighter relationship than what we previously suspected. Oh, you don't say! Going after Kimishido could well mean that we'd be ruffling the government's feathers. Yo. Changed the password on that door and rendered it impossible to get open. But why did it open eventually? It eventually opened because of the digital wave. Yeah, never mind. Knowing that, it could well serve as our ace in the hole leader. On that note, I realize that the case is technically closed, but what do you say about heading over to Rapongo one more time for me? Really? They have a lot of talking in this game. I heard there's a cloud-shaped human food. Cotton candy? That's probably cotton candies. Sure looks like a cloud and takes sweet too, yup. Is it done? It's not done. It's not done yet. Alright, we got more work, boys. More work. Being a cyber sleuth is never easy. So we need to go to Rapongi? Why is she anxious to come back then? She should just she should just told us from right there, so we could have just went to Rapongi. Like, oh my god, you know it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Tokyo, Tokyo. Metro building, yes. Ernest Silver Servant. Oh, are you here for a tour of the lobby? Please come in. Please come on inside. You must be confused. Let me explain. Well, it was at one point, that is, until a major firm came in and it was decided to upper floors merited all did deb did deeper to dead. It started deeper to do, did deeper to do. Oh my god, this is the Gyps building. No, this isn't the Gyps building. Did you make it inside the building? Alright, I get you. So they're alright with you hanging around the lobby. Well, that makes our work a little easier. All you need to do at this point. Is Alright, we need to get it down. Terminal. Find a terminal. Alright. Tower of Babel. Alright, let's look around. There's actually a terminal we can jack into right over there, so let's do it. A small digital shift happening here. Yes, let's go into it. Is there something wrong? Oh, you found a terminal! If this shift is weak, why do I need- Just let me go into the shift! Fuck what you saying right now! <laughs> Try connect jumping into it. We have no idea what could be inside, so stay on your feet, alright? Like, holy shit, that interruption. There was no need for that. There was no need for that, Kyoko. We're in a digital space in a digital place. A digital space in a digital place. Alright, any items here? Yup, oh my god, it's an eater. Oh my god, it's an eater, guys. So let's get ready to go to the Digilab. Let's go to the Digilab. Let's not get ready, let's go. And what we want to do, we want to heal up. We want to be ready for this fight. So Talmon is coming in. Talmon is coming in, and uh, what we want to do, there's actually one thing I want to try. Instead of having Lilymon here, um, we're gonna switch her out for... Where is he at? I know he's here somewhere. Is he in the training area? He probably is. Yeah, Digitamamon. That's what we want. We want to try that out. 
And on top of that, we're gonna bring in Talmon with acceleration boost. And we're gonna see if we can do like double damage with his uh, unique skill. And if it works, dude, oh my god, it's gonna be amazing. So Rapidmon, we want to replace you with our girl. Oh wait, Talmon's already in. So yeah, this works, this works. So we're gonna go to the uh, Eater fight. I don't think this Eater fight is gonna be too tough to even begin with, but... You never know, with this game, with this game anything can really happen. So Digitama Mine is gonna start the fight off. Um, we're gonna go over here to organize. Talamon is gonna take over... Oh, Talamon is gonna take over right there. Here we go. Can we not fight him? Yeah, we cannot fight him and go past him. But there's no point, there's no item over there. So here we go. We're just gonna run, if we can. There's no point fighting these guys. It'll just be a waste of resources right there. Here we go. The Eater. Data is converging. Data is converging. Data, data, data is converging. So we want to do acceleration boost on Digitama. Oh, she can only do it on herself. Okay, so I was thinking we can do it. Oh yeah, that that works. That works. Acceleration boost on yourself. She's gonna do mad damage. Oh, Leomon, you have a lot of things you could do. Digitama Mon. No, Talamon. We want to increase her chain. So combo up. She'll join in this fight, hopefully. Damn. She didn't join in in the attack. Alright, that's cool. But Talisman of Light, though. Hold this. Hold this. Uh, oh my god. Hold that. But we got to hold this at Road Terminal. 524. We'll hold that. So Digitamamon too. We're gonna do it again. Now if I do acceleration, damn, she ain't fast enough. It does boost her turn up a little bit, but we wanna try to get a combo attack. Yes, we got it! Yo! Let's go. Damage up regardless. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. So, let's see. 13. Alright, so it does less the more HP they lose. Alright, let's see if we can get this combo activated again. Acceleration boost. And Leomon. I believe you can inflict shock. So, boom, this works out. Since we got acceleration boot. Oh damn, you can't stun him, that's right. If he goes after Talamon again. Alright. Good thing he didn't go after Talamon again, but we have acceleration boost. And on top of that, we can get a combo here. If we get a combo with acceleration boost, it'll be great. Damn! I was hoping that we get it. I really should heal, but at this point. YOLO. At this point, we're going YOLO. King of Fist! Orre! Alright, we're good. Ripping pieces! Good stuff. Nice. Leomon. That chain boost, though. So you found an eater inside there, after all. You're not seeing the forest for the trees here, Shinji. <laughs> the fact that there was an eater inside is big evidence in itself. Alright, let's call it a day. We out. That was probably hard work going all over the place today, but thanks to you, I think I'm starting to piece it all together now. I like the part where 
he did so much damage, he almost wiped us out, even though we're ultimates. <laughs> and I found out the government building itself is one big digital wave force. Damn, one force field. From what I can tell, energy is flowing straight into Tokyo. The Tokyo government building. The ley line, huh? Interesting. Bigger the vessel, huh? Oh, the more energy you can build up. It probably also explains the new construction going on, as more space would mean that much more energy chemistry could stockpile. The extra energy would then go on to impact the building beyond the facility, hence the digital shift. Hmm. The fact that the digital waves can be concentrated in such small qualities as to attract individual eaters and produce a micro labyrinth. Suppressing large amounts of digital waves. The deliberate and calculated nature of all of it and indicates that somebody's got big plans in the works. Alrighty.